Like... <laughs> what the plot? <laughs> what is plot? I freaking... I don't know. It's so rushed. Information collection. The information retrieval attempt on the route to the center ended in failure. Orbital dispatch proclaimers for a surprise attack on Horizon area. And we let the enemy access virtual reality through Horizon's facilities as planned when we commenced a network intrusion on its central data bank. Sky Union was supposed to be uh, was supposed to be the decoy for the data intrusion, but they never appeared, and our intrusion forces were trapped in virtual reality and obliterated. Their empty bodies are all that remain. However, we did learn one thing from this. We're getting closer to the truth, but we have less time than we thought. Wow. Sky Union's forces were supposed to intrude as our decoy in this information attempt, uh, retrieval attempt. But when it came time to commence the operation, they had already been obliterated. It's re reasonable to assume that information was leaked to Horizon, but at this time we don't know who's responsible. The information could have come from any number of sources, Zen, Sky Union, Orbital, other reclaimers, perhaps even you. Although I have not given up on investigating the truth. If the source of the leak is not found, all of our work will have been for nothing. We will investigate the cause. For your sake, I hope you're not the source of the leak. Otherwise, you'll be dealt with accordingly. I have not said a goddamn word in this game. Oh, man. Well, I don't even know what to say. Thanks for that last mission, you know? I don't even... I don't know if Diablo fully recovered, but he's back on his feet anyway, training his butt off. Sergeant Drake? No. After a promotion, I guess she's warrant officer Drake now. Her body is sent to her family, along with a very generous sum, of, uh, sum from Bullet Works. We'll be okay, don't you worry. I'll just cut to the chase. We got some new intel, and BG ordered me to share it with, not just with you, but with every reclaimer. That's how big this is. Looks like Grief was trying to recover an important object hidden in one of Orbital's, fa Orbital's facilities. This object, as you might have guessed, is a massive femto, or extracted from the center of the oval link. In their research notes, it's labeled Dominator Specimen. Basically, Orbital has known about the Dominator's existence for quite some time now. This proves that Grief's recent string of crazy behavior wasn't just him being all delusional. We're currently investigating Grief's current objectives, but we don't have much in the way of leads. If you come across anything useful, please pass it all along to the rest of us. One more thing, we still can't locate Major Crimson Lord. No idea what's in store for us. I just know that I'm going to keep fighting, no matter what. It's what Sergeant Drake, Drake would have wanted. Later. They really needed that branching plot where you just join one faction per playthrough and then eventually you finally join the uh, the terrors and get the actual full story. Mission briefing. Briefing will now commence. This mission is a request from Sky Union. Unknown hostile forces are preventing transport aircraft from taking off from one of Sky Union's frontline bases. Eliminate these hostile forces so the aircraft can safely take off. The situation is currently in a stalemate. Complete your preparations as quickly as possible and dispatch. Briefing over. The expression unknown hostile forces immediately caught my attention. Are you suggesting these enemies aren't immortals? We have reports of two arsenals accompanying the enemies. This could be mimicry by corrupted AI, but we lack conclusive information at this time. Well, that's worrisome. But if they aren't immortals, maybe the Western Seven are involved somehow. Though I'd rather deal with immortals, honestly. Yeah, well, we're not heading out to make small talk. Whether it's Immortals or the Western Seven, we should expect to see some action. Know what I mean? Good point, Jack. Four, is there anything else we should know about this mission? Two transport aircraft are standing by at the base. If either aircraft is rendered incapable of takeoff, it will result in immediate mission failure. Must be moving a lot of stuff then. Like they're relocating the whole base or something. Defending two transports at once, though, that's going to be difficult. How come other Reclaimers haven't accepted this one? While all Reclaimers have been notified of this mission, many have declined due to their active participation in other ongoing missions. Other Reclaimers, such as the Five Hells, the Western Seven, and Panzer Crown, have yet to respond at all. 
I guess this one's riding on us then. Understood. We better start prepping our arsenals. Rookie, you're coming too, yeah? If the enemy has two arsenals with them, the three of us will have the numbers advantage. Jack's right. I hope you'll join us for this mission. Take care. Approach complete. You have arrived at the mission area. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle density is near zero. Radar will not be affected. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad. Those are the transports we're guarding. Now to find those enemy arsenals. Whoa! Hey, what's the big idea? You could at least greet us before you start shooting. The enemy force contains two arsenals. Wait a minute. Uh, I was so sure that would hit you! Why'd you have to dodge it? Because I don't want to die, obviously. What's the matter with you? You talk too much. I should kill you. It's not Immortals or the Western Seven. It's the Five Hells. What's going on here? How should I know? Just keep these ladies the hell away from the transports. Move out! Do you have any idea what you're doing? You know Savior would never involve himself in a battle between consortiums. Abyss, what's this guy talking about? He's not making any sense to me. They're trying to destroy the transports. Just as our lady sister said. If we... Heaven, Abyss, what are you doing? Are these rabble not Savior's enemies? No, we're not enemies. Ask Savior, he'll tell you. They keep saying that. Because they're lying. That's what bad people do. But they just won't break! Have you two forgotten what I taught you? Uh, but I don't like doing that. My head is coming undone. Can't think. Can't take this anymore. My lord brother. Savior. I'm sorry. Uh, Abyss! You there? Where did you go? There was no other way. But still, I don't think she's dead. You're in no shape to continue fighting. Just withdraw and... Abyss isn't dead? You don't know anything, do you? What don't I know? You're such a good girl, Heaven. <laughs> Abyss and I... We've been dead for a long time. Attention. The enemy arsenal has self-destructed. Damage to Note's unit is unknown. The transport aircraft have begun their takeoff sequence. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. That was really stupid. That whole thing, real stupid. What the? You made her self-destruct? Your own sister? What of it? She is disposable. Don't presume to understand our family. Disposable? Notes! You're okay! It's gonna take more than that to kill me. Can't say the same for my trashed arsenal, though. 
Anyway, Nemesis, you better explain what you meant by disposable right now. I don't need to explain anything to the likes of you. Hey, we completed our mission. That means we won and you lost. You sacrificed your little sister for nothing. And yet, I don't care in the slightest. Good day. You're not even going to recover your sister's body? <laughs> I don't understand this at all. I thought she was your family. You had best keep that ignorant mouth of yours closed, boy. Those girls have been dead for a long time. What is that supposed to mean? Their hearts no longer beat. Their rotting organs are replaced regularly. All so they can fight for savior. That is their way of showing their love. Yes, I used them. But I respect how they chose to show their love. What the hell kind of answer is that? I would kill Savior if that's what he asked of me. What is that, if not love? I need it elsewhere. Until we meet again. Get back here, Nemesis! Damn it! Settle down, Notes. I've already sent out a rescue request for Heaven and Abyss. Sorry, I don't know what came over me. It's just... We completed our mission, so why do I feel so... hollow? I know what you mean. I'm sure the Rookie is just as confused as we are. Who knows what she was really after? Maybe Savior can help us understand what Nemesis was saying. Either way, let's head back. Four, map a return sequence. Affirmative. Mapping return sequence. What was the point of any of this? What? I... Uh, God damn. This is not getting better. I figured they'd be condensing the plot down, but then they could just keep throwing weird sidewinders that don't make any goddamn sense. Uh, okay, so the railgun is good. It does a lot of damage. The problem is it locks me in place and just isn't honestly actually that amazing. I like the idea of it, if I could have... If I could have a railgun... ...and a missile launcher, maybe? Or something else, but... I... Uh, good freaking lord. Alright, uh, what's the new helmet that I can make? Oh, I finally got the Goliath helmet. Cool. I'm assuming there's not a whole lot more that I can develop that's actually cool. Maybe there is. Well, there's the Claymore. Izanami. Swordbreaker. So we've more or less seen a lot of these things. The main thing I want to look for is flight speed. Or, no, actually with heads. We're just looking for lock-on. Am I still using the Izanami? I think I'm still using... Or not the... Uh, I might still be using the Durandal. I forget. So none of these have a flight speed, oh, no, flight boost speed, but that's flight speed minus. And what I would want is actually a Kusanagi, but that requires the Raikiri. I haven't seen the Raikiri go by. There's the Raikiri. It would cost me an Osafune. Oh. So the Raikiri fast and maneuverable does have the flight speed bonus that I'm looking for. Flash Phantom also has the flight speed bonus I'm looking for. But what if I gotta go fast? Oh god damn it, I have the Ozafune equipped. Do I need the Ozafune equipped? No, I can I can take off my Ozafune. Uh, let's see, hangar, paint. Let's let's go back to uh, nothing. Let's 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 actually see what my horrible Franken mech uh, looks like, so I can work with. So I've been using those of Fune mainly because it's got a good boost speed, which has been good. But there's also the Hecaton Shear. There's the Orsa. What would I want? 
I mean, there's always the Goliath if I want to be... be Duraman. Atlas if I want to be even slower. I've been using the Ozofune, but I can live without that. Why don't we do Longsword for the time being? Okay, right arm. I've got a Claymore arm. It's okay. Let's just let's just get big arms up in this. Oh, let's see. What kind of head am I using? This one, mainly for the extra defense. I could go back to the Durandal. It's a neat lock long sword. I guess part of it is I don't actually need the range, do I? Let's see. 4,000... Hmm. Oh, we'll keep the Goliath on for the time being. I'm gonna keep zippy legs, so I think... I think, honestly, considering everything, maybe I shouldn't. Because I'm not actually on the ground that often. Just go full Atlas legs. Raw defense. Yeah, let's let's go back back and big until I get that new torso. Because what I'm thinking is, I go uh, fast flight torso, keep everything else fairly heavy. Um, I know there's flash phantom. That's pretty quick. But the Raikiri, the Raikiri is just fast. I know there's the Kusanagi, but the right Ra Raikiri is just that much faster. What else can I make? Okay, so I, I could make a better processor. What else do we have? Albert, Atlas Arms, Otis, Precision Support. So long range sniping. Interesting. Uh, I'm curious what Precision Support would specifically do for me. Would that actually increase my... It wouldn't increase my lock-on range. No. What else do we have? Yeah, there's also Kusanagi and a couple other ones, but... Eh. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna... Uh, keep with my Goliath arms. We're just gonna go big. Uh, let's see. What about arm weapons? Do I have any interesting lasers? Stargazer. Uses a lot of Femto. But... Let's see. High memory usage. And high Femto usage. Some of these actually look pretty rad. I'm not super interested in any of the charge laser rifles, to be honest. Okay, shoulder weapons. Missiles. So... Okay. So we've got to make a Garuda 2. Because I don't think we actually have a Garuda 2. I've just been using Garudas. So heat detecting spread launch. Well, might as well make one of these using this one. Let's see, there's also Pandora's box. Integrated lock on, vertical launch, large missiles. Let's see. I think I might have this one. I think I have the Scarlet Star. I don't have Pandora's box. Well, we have a couple of Thunder T Bird 2s. So I want to mess around with some of these. So I'll be able to head for Wrath of God, I think. Which just seems really fun. <laughs> it looks ridiculous though. It's just just it's just so big. Let's see, what about Blitz? Graceful Lust. Oh. 
Armament that performs autonomous machine gun attacks. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Raging Gluttony. Charge Laser Cannon. Yeah, it does a decent amount of damage. Requires a Hera's Grudge. Okay, Auxiliary. What about Support? <coughs> Jams the Radar. I'm pretty sure Radar Jamming is not useful to me. rest of this is kind of meh. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, let's see. Ooh. High-tech assault rifle. High memory usage. That's okay. Let's see. It would require Grim Reaper 3, but that's what I already have equipped, which is a bit of a shame. So we also have the Astraeus. Anything else? No. So do we want to make a... Uh, Astraeus 2? I'll start that, and we'll equip that so I can make a Guilty Throne. So we actually can start... Uh, we can actually start equipping, or developing some interesting equipment along the way. Okay, uh, let's see, submissions. How many do we have left? Uh, geez, nine. I, we might be able to... I mean, honestly, we've been spending more time out of missions than in missions, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, Mission Zen. Unidentified armed forces have occupied a missile launch facility in Zen's territory. Team up with other reclaimers to destroy the facility. Mission Wait, briefing. destroy it. Briefing will now commence. A missile launch facility in Zen's territory has been occupied by unidentified armed forces. Oh, I get it. Zen and the other consortiums have issued this mission for its immediate destruction. No activity has been detected from the facility, but it could resume operation at any moment. Complete your preparations as soon as possible and dispatch. Briefing over. Missile base. Can you believe it, Deva? I don't even know where to begin. Does Zen have some convenient excuse for why they went and built something like that? The facility does violate the treaty, but they relinquished ownership and issued the mission to destroy it before Orbital ever identified it. That's their explanation? What a load of crap. It doesn't matter, Zoa. The base is already built. Our job is to destroy it. True, but I'm more concerned about the forces occupying the base. What are they planning to do with it? We don't know. Our information isn't sufficient. I'm currently in contact with Zen regarding the threat level this facility poses. So, we don't know. Great. Everyone's worked up over Grief's Rebellion and Orbital Secret Research, but I don't care about any of that. All I know is, some bad dudes have taken over a missile base and we gotta go kick their teeth in. Is that about right? Essentially. I don't know if it's that simple, Deva. You're not wussing out on me, are you? Let's show them what the Steel Knights are made of. Fine. The Steel Knights will take this mission. Our job is to beat up bad guys. The more annoying stuff, Bulletworks can handle. You're coming too, aren't you, Rookie? Don't keep us waiting now. Once your arsenal is prepped, we'll dispatch for the mission area. Just be prepared, Deva. We don't know what we're up against this time. Just hurry up before I leave you behind. Orbital shadiness has already come out, and we're still working for Orbital. I mean, we don't have a choice, I guess. Approach complete. You have arrived at the mission area. Scanning battlefield. 
Femto particle density is low. Radar will not be affected. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad communications channel. Begin the mission. That's the missile launch facility, yeah? And the forces occupying it are... There are no responses on the radar. Shall I investigate the surrounding area? No need. Our mission is to destroy the facility. Let's just fire away till nothing's left and head on home. Showtime. Three, two, one, fire! Attention. The facility has taken only minor damage. It remains largely unscathed. Well, this is a tough nut to crack. Maybe we gotta bust it up from the inside. Searching for an entry point. Whoa! Huh? There's nothing on the radar. I'm sorry I didn't greet you first, but I can't allow you to destroy this facility. I know you. You're that Kung Fu master from the Western Seven. Oh, I'm flattered you've heard of me. Kung Fu master, huh? Is that what they say about me? I like it. This guy's not taking us seriously at all. You okay, Zoa? Yeah, I'm in one piece. He was waiting in stealth mode to ambush us. Are you with the guys who took over the missile base? If you leave now, this doesn't have to get messy. I think there has been a misunderstanding. You see, we're here on an official mission from Zen to defend this facility. You should sort this out with Orbital. If your mission was issued by mistake, you're the ones who will be penalized. Maybe so, but I don't take punches without giving some in return. Deva, rookie, we're starting the mission. Did you listen to a word I just said? Your mission is clearly a mistake. I don't give a damn about the mission. Where are those missiles aimed? Wherever they strike, the weak are the ones who'll pay the price. Mission or no mission, I'm tearing this place down. Think about what you're saying. You could lose your mercenary credentials over this. Good thing we aren't mercs. Then what are you? We're heroes of justice. Then show me how true heroes conduct themselves. Dizzy. What an intriguing combat style. I may have underestimated you. I've taken too much damage. Nameless, withdrawing. Processing. A new enemy has appeared on the radar. Caution is advised. Come to play hero again, have you? We're not going to be able to get anywhere near that facility unless we deal with her first. I understand why you want to destroy this missile base. I can't say I disagree, either. That's true. Then withdraw. I'll let you out for the warning this time. Still, so-called heroes like you two disgust me. I'll prove to you that justice has no place on the battlefield. I'm tired of playing the simple cat and mouse game. I've lost her. Processing. Eh. Additional arsenal reinforcements detected. I'll kill anyone who gets in our way! I don't know if we can get through to this guy. Hey, Baldy, do you even know what you're doing? If you launch those missiles, the whole world is gonna rise up against you. So what? I got nowhere else to go! World's always had me in the crosshairs. They've been scared of me since day one. If this is about fighting for your comrades? Fine. Come at me with everything you've got. <laughs> okay. Well, this is awkward. I hate how enemies can go outside the mission area, but that I can't. You got weak. Processing. I know. Reinforcements. Affirmative. Reaper's unit has been detected. I figured the leader of the Western Seven would be seventh to appear, not fourth. All units, take turns returning to base for resupply. Huh. 
Not bad. It would be absurd to die over this mission. So long. Well, uh, I could very much use some ammunition, but... Missiles. This is not the missile launcher I thought it was bringing along. That all you got? Weak. But, oh well. Anyway. I guess I'll just kind of go back to this. This is this over awkward. With. I'm hungry as hell. Go away, Gargantua. My ring squealing and screeching on me. I'll kill you next time. Oh, thank God. Ammunition. Maybe. Okay, we got... We got some. Ooh, that's a neat looking graffiti. Chicken! Military chicken! Oh, we got it. Alright. Uh, let's see. Entering Femto Zone. Still pisses me off that lasers use ammo. And... Barely this is what we do. get any back. Oh, oh well. Oh yeah, I just throw on a just basic Garuda. Okay, where is he? There he is. What's the other thing I could probably do? Try this sniper rifle. Wow, so yeah, single shot sniper rifle, but I reload so fast, that doesn't matter. We want that. Yeah, that might actually be a rail gun. Can you run out of stamina already? It's inconvenient fighting you. Don't worry, I'm fine. It's really interesting playing this game and being... Ow. That's a new one. So I guess there are sword clashes. I'm not very great at them. I guess I should have probably, really uh... That would kill me? Mashed buttons. Well, yes, just stand there. Just stand there, please. Just... Right there. Oh, let me slash you. There we go. You're not the last one, are you? Come on, call the rest of your goons. We'll take you all on. Captain, the job is done. Give the order to withdraw. Klondike! Did you not hear me? All units? Evacuate the base and withdraw from the mission area. That's an order. So, you're up next, huh? Release the safety on your weapons. It's not very heroic to point your weapons at an unarmed man. I haven't come to fight you at all. On the contrary, I'm going to save you some trouble. Excuse me? What are you talking about? Observe. Whoa! What the? Facility destroyed. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What happened? What did you do? I agree that something as profane as this facility should be destroyed. Zen wanted so badly to protect it, they issued two competing illegal missions. To me, that just proves they have no right to selfishly hoard it for themselves. Huh? What are you talking about? 
Thank you for buying me time, Reaper. I got what I was after. You should be pleased. I'm sure Grief will keep his promise. Grief? What does he have to do with this? I'm sure the Rookie can explain. I'm not sure why you trust them, but know that they're part of a bigger game. You're welcome to join the game yourselves, as long as you know the rules. What does that mean? Let's go, Reaper. I don't want to be late. Understood. Hey, get back here! The enemy arsenals have left the radar search range. What the hell is going on? I have no idea what any of this means. There's no point standing around here. We should head back. Four, you know what to do. Affirmative. Mapping return sequence. Uh. Oh, come on. I don't get to loot him. He probably had the good stuff. Oh. Well, uh, let's see. Grim Reaper 3, Varger. We want to grab the Varger at the very least. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to this. Factory. Perfect. So we got the Astraeus, some ice cream tokens, some other things. Baikiri. Uh, let's develop weapons? Melee combat. So there's also the Excalibur. That requires a noble pride. I don't have one? Huh. There's a Varger Greed. No ammo. Attack recovery time plus plus. Oh, wow. I. Flame of Soleus, which I think also means Excalibur? If Baldur's Edge requires a Baldur's Edge 2. That's a Baldur's Edge 2. If I wanted to make one of these, is the benefit. Oh. Progressively more damage? So that's... Wait. What? Hold up. Why does it go 2, then 1, then this thing? What? Then again, this thing that does 3,000 damage... Excalibur can have attachments, but it needs a noble pride. Why is a Buster Doom, but I'm not really using Buster Dooms to begin with. So I guess we'll start working on this one. Let's shield. Now nah, we know about that. Okay, the other one I wanted to check out was a Guilty Throne. Oh, wow. Why is this one better? Oh, this one has more range. Eh. Okay, hangar. Equipment. Weapons. Let's see, it would be my left weapon. Switch away from this one. Okay, couple of options. We could do the Astraeus or this. Do that. And honestly, we're starting to run into some pretty long fights. Let's just do double bullet, I think. Shoulder weapon missiles. So I thought I was using the Gr Garuda earlier, but no. It's the Garuda 2 that does... No, that does heat detecting. Which is the one that does fire? Oh, it's the Rampage Hammer. Well, I can get a, I can get one of these. Let's throw this on. I can, I can live without the Rampage Hammer for at least a little while. Let's see, I don't think I need the Chat Flare. I barely get shot, uh, missiles barely get shot at me anyway. Okay, and right pylon, melee combat. Let's, let's grab the Varger Greed. Let's just go big hits. 
Okay, back to the factory. Develop equipment... armor? Apparently there's something new I can make here. The halberd. Overall perfor performance, it's okay. So yeah, it looks like we've unlocked the halberd set, which is just knockdown resistance and performance. Maybe there are benefits to it. So halberd, precision, reload, but not speed. Other performance. So that's the Atlas arms. Otis arms. I would swear we've seen a lot of these go by. Maybe I just wasn't looking at this specific arm. There's also these. I haven't really tried gun arms yet. I know that's just a straight up bazooka. Unfortunately, it seems like a lot of the gun arms, while they're kind of cool looking, I don't actually know if they're better. The only question is, I wonder if they run out of ammo. Because it doesn't seem like they have ammo as an option. I'm really curious about that, actually. Okay, Halberd Legs, Claymore Legs. Atlas Legs, but we already have Atlas Legs on. Uh, Hecaton Shear. Land boost speed's kind of good. Let's see, Raikiri. I know Raikiri legs would be kind of interesting to go just, like, super speed, but I just... Mm, hard to care. Oh, right. Okay, I was... Gonna customize body? Except for I can't customize it. It has no attachment slots. Well... Arm can gain weapon ammo based on what it's ba based on. Oh. Okay. Anyway, so we want to go to Raikiri. Oh, that's that's the issue. Well, one way or another, this should make me insanely fast and still fairly durable. So there's that. Okay. We got some new patterns. Oh, that is some nice digital camo. I mean, I like, actually, fairly OG colors, to be honest. Yeah, why don't we, why don't we lose the pattern for the time being? Let's just go back to, to proper Wanderbot colors. At least for a little while. Okay, uh, let's do legs. We got a cool new decal that I want to put on. Which is... I'm gonna have chickens on my knees. I don't know why. But there we go. I got chicken knees. Okay, save paint job. And we're good. Part of me wants to buy this game. Another part of me really doesn't. It The problem is, this game has so many like weird, fiddly things wrong with it, that it's like... If it had been really well made, it would have been amazing. But the small issues with it are very big issues as you go along. Okay, uh, right. That's what I was going to develop. Oops. Factory... Develop equipment. We wanted to make weapon, shoulder weapon, missiles. We wanted to make this. Heat detecting, spread launch. Oh, so that's that's why. But yeah, let's get a Wrath of God. We haven't seen a replacement for the Rampage Hammer yet, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, it's best to get this game on sale. I would agree with that. I would say this game is... Definitely worth like 20 bucks. 30? Also, maybe, probably. Things have grown more dire. Overall, although it's on the brink of total chaos, I will now brief all reclaimers on the situation as best as I can. 
As our analysis indicated, Zen stood no chance against Sky Union's forces. Their defeat was inevitable. But then, the Black AIs and Terrors appeared, and the tide of battle completely shifted. They attacked everyone on the battlefield, wiping out Zen and forcing Sky Union to retreat. The casualties are immeasurable. Terrors vanished after the battle, but the Black AIs continued to invade and attack other areas. Major facilities in those areas have been destroyed, making it difficult to ascertain the current situation. More frightening than in that, in the midst of co uh, midst of this chaos, the Black AIs have invaded areas occupied by AIs we've been battling since the beginning. They are currently engaged in combat with one another. It's repulsive to watch these AI groups fight. Each side is overriding each other's logic structures and bodies, changing their very existence. In the midst of this awful news, there's a glimmer of hope. Bulletworks has reported that the AI is focused on battling the Black AIs, but not been targeting humans. Other reclaimers currently dispatched on missions have corroborated this report as well. I'll update you once I have more details. Farewell. What? That that feels like that deserved at least maybe a cutscene or an explanation. I'm still not sure why the corporations are fighting each other in the face of apparently the end war. Long time no see. It looks like things have really moved while I was holed up in my room. I have to do a little bit more analysis on that mecha data I got from Grief before I'm finished. I'm sure you're pretty shocked by what you've already seen, but once I'm done putting it all together, I'll inform BG so he can share its contents. When that happens, I want you to be there. I'm working as fast as I can. I hope I'm not too late. Oh, Claymos Lace is the uh, Blunged the King of the Irish Gods, cleaved things in two. That's what it is. Sorry about that.